as I live and breathe. I figured you'd be Gaby coming down to give me my last rites. I done what I done. I ain't getting on my knees about it. T-bone beer, maybe a scoop of Rocky Road. Matters to you what I want. Didn't know you had a say on the Kangaroo Council deciding my fate. I'm getting that. What I don't get is coming down here and dealing with me when seems to me you ought to be lining up the old skin queen in your crosshairs. Word has it you are a certified badass, but you missed your shot. What happens if I muff it too? It could make things a hell of a lot worse for every man, woman, and child behind these walls. And despite what people may think of me, I am absolutely not down with that. Doing your dirty work? I don't know, I guess I want to get out of there with my head still attached. Shit like that takes time. It's done. All right, I held up my end. Now I am asking you to hold up yours. Just walk me through those gates so I can open up a new chapter in the Book of Negan. Council really banish me, or is this more of a Carol seizing the reins kind of situation? Little pig, little pig. Let me in. I know you can hear me loud and clear. I know that nobody likes and I told you so. What can I say? I must be a bit of a masochist, because, uh... <laughs> you know what the sad part is? The sad part isn't where we ended up here, because, I mean, phew, let's face it, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Now, see, the sad part is that you thought for even a second that those folks would see you for anything but who you truly are. Which is me. You go ahead and you call me whatever little names you want to call me. But you gotta admit, you got a hell of a lot further with a kind word and good old Lucille here than we ever got with just a kind word. It's time to face the facts, old man. You are nothing without her. You gotta let me go. The part about the medical clinic, that's all true. And yeah, you're right. They have a medical stockpile somewhere. They keep equipment, drugs. I don't know where, but that is where that came from. My name is Negan. My wife has cancer. She was in the middle of treatments when the world went to shit. And I've just been trying to keep it going. I'm a high school gym teacher. The doctors had given us a calendar of what she needed and when she needed it, so all I had to do was find the drugs and figure out how to do infusion. The pumps aren't that complicated. Well, baby, I think we're gonna have to skip the movie just for now. Generator is making too much noise. I bought it. Right, I turn the generator off for a little bit and they lose interest. They always do. I see what you're feeling, replied Charlotte. He must be surprised very much surprised. So lately, as Mr. Collins was wishing to marry you, but when you have... <sighs> Mama, hmm. this book sucks, it's killing me. I, I, I can't, I can't do it. Hey. Are you all right? How you doing? I got something for you. I found someone stash. Now, it's a little bit dried out. But this is going to help with your nausea. Well, generator needs gas. In this place, it's been picked over. But the bright side is that I reckon that's exactly what's keeping us safe. There is nothing here that anybody wants. It's just too dangerous out there. Baby, you have three treatments left. That's it. 
Okay, so we are going to get your strength up, and then I will put you on my motorcycle, and I will take you wherever you want to go, wherever you can dream up. You are so beautiful to me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm just worried that I'm going to get used to it. How, um, how's your dinner? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I don't Wait, do you actually know what day it is? Holy shit. Where did you get this? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. See, I, um, I don't deserve anything from you. And you shouldn't be apologizing to me. It should be me apologizing to you. The man that I was, the pain that I put you through. Yeah, I, um. Uh... I tried a little rosemary instead of oregano and a little white wine reduction in with the chicken stock. What appointment? Because you know how the doctors can be. They have you sit around for three hours with your ass hanging out and then they tell you everything's fine. You know, I figured I would, I would scavenge along the way. It was worse out there than I thought and then I ran into some problems with the dead and here I am. I don't know what to say here. Um, Broke my hammer on the way here. This is the bat you hit me with? I think I got all of them. Did you take this? You can go find your daughter and make sure she's okay. Here we are again. You know, last time we did this, you said that I talked too much. Bad news is, I got some stuff to get off my chest this time as well. But see, this time, this time you best hope I never stop talking. Because when I do, when I do something very terrible is gonna happen to you. You know, I never killed a man before tonight. It's the truth. Came close once. See, there was this, this bar. My wife and I used to go to. It was our favorite bar. It was our favorite bar because it had our favorite jukebox. Favorite jukebox because, well, it had our favorite song. You are so beautiful by the one and only Joe Cocker. Probably the greatest love ballad ever written. I'm sure you agree. But see, there was, there was this guy. This guy, he had, uh, he had one of those voices you can't unhear. You know, it was like uh, my brain had been hijacked, and I can't, I can't think anymore. Anyway, he is talking and laughing while the song is playing, being completely obnoxious. So my beautiful wife Lucille. She gets up, goes over to where he is, and politely asks him if he could keep it down so she could hear her song. Well, let's just say he chose poorly. So now I got to get up. And I go over and I tell him that he owes me 50 cents so I can play the song again, and he can shut the hell up, and my wife can enjoy her song. Now, here's the important part, and I really want you to pay attention to this. You know when people get so angry, they say they see red? That shit is actually true. When this asshole comes at me, all I see is red. It's like I am looking at the world through blood. I am sorry that I left you. I was a coward. I couldn't face the pain of losing you, so I ran away. And then I made myself not feel anything because I didn't want to feel the shame. The problem is, shame is the one thing that I still felt. Ah, I'm sorry that you went out like that. I should have been there. I am sorry that I named a stupid baseball bat after you. Pay attention. That's it, that's... 
That's your new big plan? Tell me, Maggie. Well, why don't you get up on your little tippy toes and try? This kid almost died. She has been playing dictator since we left. Not listening to me, not listening to him. Hell, not even listening to you. Oh, is that why I'm here? I am your DC tour guide. What, nobody here know how to read a goddamn map? I did. Let's see, I can tell from that glazed look in your eye. You didn't have a clue. None of you did. Look, you all want to put your lives in her hands. Her head isn't even in the game because I'm in her head. Okay. So what? She was in trouble and I didn't help. There is a big difference. She was just talking about murdering me. Sooner rather than later. And yet somehow, I'm the big old asshole because I didn't risk my nuts for her. It means we were lucky. It means that nobody has it figured out. Nobody ever did. Or it could just be us. Well, the only way this works is if we trust each other. Does he want to stay alive? Same as me? Jesus. You know, if that's how you feel, I don't understand why you haven't put me down yet. See, that's my point. All right, look, I, I know I don't get a vote here, and that's fine, but here's mine anyway. We give it till sundown. And if the others don't show by then, they're not gonna. It's not gonna fit you perfectly. It was someone else's face. Look, this might actually work. And I mean it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm gonna take this back, work on it, fix it for you. And we'll try it again. You did good, Maggie. I told you you'd get it right. Congrats, and you're welcome.